Welcome, people of the internet. My name's Will, and I am the reporter behind all the content here on this channel for 1-1-Now. Today, I need to start off with a disclaimer. The content that I am going to be covering today is very sensitive, and viewer discretion is strongly advised. This content is extremely hard for some people to not only hear, but to learn about. So please understand that everybody who comments in the comment section below may have lived through such trauma as this as a child or a young adult or as an adult. And it's extremely disturbing for them to try to relive it. And they're trying to make a connection. So please, when you leave a comment after watching this video, please keep that in mind. Today, I'm going to be reading the email communications between Jared Lysak and his family member who he allegedly raped, not once, twice is what the actual charges are against him for, rape of a child under the age of 12. You will learn in this these communications of emails back and forth that not only did it happen twice, but it happened at least three times. And you will additionally learn that this victim was not the first and was not the last victim that Jared preyed upon back when he was just before the age of 18. And it also leads open the question, how many victims there are after he became an actual adult? Did he ever stop as a predator preying upon those later on? So, with that in mind, let's get into it. In here, ladies and gentlemen, right now before I read the rest of these, these emails have been confirmed from Jared. He admitted that these emails are real and that they are unedited in his stream, but he has now since edited his last stream from Adventures with Purpose. But he admitted that these emails and communications are real. I had no idea until recently when I had, I had the unfortunate chance of coming across a video of my childhood rapist, Jared Lysick, my cousin. Yes, my own flesh and blood. And I wasn't his, his only family victim. And honestly, who knows how many others there are out there or aren't part of the family. Due to his diving group, Adventures with Purpose, this man is regarded as a hero and an angel. And he is invited into people's homes and welcomed with loving arms. He has been through the system, CPS, the Mormon Church, therapies, and so many more, as you'll be able to tell from his writings. But I do know for a fact that he did not start with me, nor did he end with me either. He, at one point, you will, you will read, verbally admitted to my mother that he had molested me, obviously skimming over the more horrific parts, like his attempted sodomy, Do you feel better as a person doing the things like this? Does this make you feel less like a child molesting monster parading around in human skin? There is no forgiveness for what you did to me in my home in Utah, Grandpa and Grandpa's home in Las Vegas, and right above Grandpa and Grandma's head in their very own truck. Referring to a family vacation that they were all taking, and a pickup truck that has a camper that goes into the actual camper bed itself, the truck bed itself. And it happened in the truck while her, their grandpa and grandma were driving them to the destination. The third time that Jared actually raped this 10 year old, not even 10 year old little girl. The rest of the family is just as much to blame as you because they didn't turn you in they knew better i was just a child and i didn't know better and yet you are still welcome to the family get-togethers like my grandfather's funeral all the while in the parking lot getting ready to get out of the car and to attend i, I seen your face be and i became so violently Ill, ill i couldn't even attend i had to drive down the street to the cvs drugstore to watch via zoom all these people may be calling you a hero and saying that you're doing such great things, but we both know the truth about you and that you're obviously not ashamed of your past. 
But I am also not ashamed of my past, and I have a voice, and I use it as much as I possibly can. Your secrets are not hidden. I'm so very sorry for the things that we cannot change. It is unfortunate that the Lysak and Juza lineage experienced the shit that you and I and many other cousins were brought into. Like yourself, I was once a victim by multiple people, both in and out of the family. It is unfortunate when families like ours experience molestation. Many of us cousins have gotten together to acknowledge what had um, happened in our youth and made a pact to put an end to it and to protect our children from anything like that ever happening to them. I have my, myself tried to apologize to you and have an open conversation with you about it and answer any questions you may have. The first time I apologize to you, uh, you, I am sorry, by the way, that it was handled in for, uh, I was under the impression that your mother knew and that I felt it was appropriate that uh, time to have a conversation with both of you. I did not mean to embarrass you or to catch you off guard. The second time I tried was not um, to clear my own conscience, but to ha help you heal and help any other str struggles you may have been, been having. As many of us had to learn how to overcome and to move on, you essentially told me to go fuck myself and told me how I, I had embarrassed you the first time around. I am sorry. My understanding is that the other cousins have also tried to have the same conversation with you. We are now all adults and it is healthy for us to acknowledge and address those unfortunate circumstances from our past in our childhood and adolescent years. Going on from Jared to the victim. Unfortunately, you desire to have a 46-year-old man, male, live the mistakes of a 12-year-old simply is not realistic. Thank God we are not for, forever judged by the actions of our youth. I am grateful that many of our cousins acknowledged and stopped those uh, sins that happened to us and those sins we once committed as a result of grooming. It is healthy for you to, to now be open and talk about the past. As a full-grown woman in your early 40s are to be commended for facing and standing up to those actions which happened to you in the past. Spread awareness and stop the cycle as our cousins within the family have for our, their own children and grandchildren. Protect your own children and grandchildren as we have to help the world become a better place. We live in a society that acknowledges the mistakes made in the past, accepting those who have proven to change. My life holds no secrets, and everyone in my office feels the pain and has seen the email string, for I don't filter my own emails. They know me for the man that I am and not the mistakes of a 12-year-old who learned to recognize the cycle and break the cycle as many of our cousins did. You were younger and not yet ready to accept my apology and recognize the steps we had made for future generations to protect them. I hope you can one day for, forgive, find forgiveness and peace. Feel free to have the last word, for I will not respond to any further attacks um, as to my character today based upon those actions as a youth. Should you desire to have an adult, uh, converse, healthy conversation uh, as to the past, I'm open to helping you through and acceptance of the growth that many of us have faced and dealt with. While there is a lot of shit that has happened throughout my life, personally, from molestation, abandonment, growing up in foster care, and many other shit um, along the way, I would not change a thing of it, uh, and it has made me who I am today. I can't even apologize for for anything that has happened to you in your life, but I have done my best to acknowledge directly with you my own mistakes. I have no secrets as to my to my parents and my grandparents and with your uh, mother and aunt and others within our family who know, knew about this, my own wife and my children. I have even discussed publicly my situation and unfortunate shit that has happened um, within families. We do uh, pinpoint it as a do we do we pinpoint it as a Lasik or Jusa um, lineage, or do we pinpoint it as Mormonism? 
I do not have the answers. The cousin, now replying to Jared after he vomited all that on her, if you truly want to apologize, then pay for your actions. Walk into a police station with me and confess your actions. Get it on the record and have yourself registered as a sex offender that you are. My only regret in life is not ha was not being as open about um, you and your abuse to anyone and everyone who would listen like I am now and turning you into the police like you should have been. I didn't understand how you can try and get me to uh, sympathize with you over the past issues. Not at, not at all. It angers me twice as much to know that not only did you know firsthand the torture you were, you were inflicting upon me because you had experienced your, yourself, that makes you, know, you an even bigger monster than I have ever pictured you in my mind. Absolutely disgusting. You're an emotional vampire. I noticed all the therapy terms you used in your messages, typical narcissism at its best. How somebody could ever come to peace with damaging such a young, innocent human being is beyond me, proof of a completely broken mind, assuming that there would be any kind, kind of peace after those types of actions, or that peace should even be deserved. You are a pedophile. Do not even act like that you were not old enough to know that what you were doing was wrong. Um, tried as an adult at that age and should have been. As to the comments about my life and the things that have happened to me, I don't know who or why you were even discussing me, but I can guarantee you that nobody really knows anything because just like your situation, I've kept my mouth shut until recently and don't talk about um, to any of the family, despite that others, um, as you say, the cousins have come to you and said, so be re a real man and turn yourself in and pay for your crimes or continue to be the small and sad mental midget that couldn't keep his libido under control and blame it all on others. So let me do this, do some math here. I was nine or 10 living in Utah, and you forced me to have sex with you on the bathroom floor upstairs. You were six or so years older than me. That makes you older than 12. In Las Vegas at Grandma and Grandpa's house, you were living there, and you had your own car, a Volkswagen Beetle, and was driving it when it ran. So please stop making it sound like you were a young child at the time when you molested molested me. Maybe you started that young with others, but you're, you're still not willing to face the, for your up for what your wrongs in, in a proper fashion. Then that is on you and you alone. Anyone who supported you and your sick delusional fantasies for, for forgiveness in yourself for your pain and suffering you caused willingly and knowingly caused not only a child, but your own family. But remember, I do appreciate you admitting all this in writing end of communication ladies and gentlemen as horrific as that is i need to make two additional clarifications two members of jared's family cousins of his who said that jared had communicated with them and they had all come together on a pack to make sure that the end of you know these violent acts and these sins as he put it uh, would not carry forward. They both said, this never happened. There has never been a family meeting, a family gathering, a family email, communication, Zoom call, nothing, where all the cousins got together and decided that they were not going to go forward and abuse their loved ones, their children, their grandchildren in any shape or form. Additionally, both of these cousins who spoke off of the record they all believe that Jared is a pedophile and a predator in his own right. They do not buy the story when shown these actual emails and communications back and forth between Jared and his victim. They all agree that Jared is responsible for what he did and he solely should be charged and found responsible for what he did. Again, they 
have never had such a family meeting where all the cousins, as he pointed out, talked about this or that they any of the cousins ever came to this victim and tried to get her to talk about it. It simply didn't happen. Thank you for joining me today. You have a wonderful week ahead.